The scenario is, my girlfriend calls me, says I've got two tickets to this special event, my other girlfriend let me down, do you want to come? I don't know why she didn't invite me in the first place, but we will deal with that later. So I've got one hour to get ready and I look like this. Hi everyone, it's Nisha, so let's play this game. If this really happened to me, I would have to be pretty quick, therefore I would have to use my foolproof makeup, something that I know it will always work for me and I will look good. So I can't be thinking of different eyeshadow palettes out of the hundreds that I have. I want something that I know is quick, it doesn't have 500 colors and I don't have to think about it and I know that end result will be good. The same with foundation and all the other things. <laughs> Scarecrow. So let's see how I went from this to this. For my foundation I am going to use of course my Holy Grail Delilah Alibi foundation in bamboo and I might mix a bit of spice. I've got a bit of fake tan on. This foundation, I have quite a few foundations that I really like, but I know when it matters, this will never let me down. I have them decanted into these LS Pump containers because I can see then how much I've got left. I buy them on Amazon, they are really handy. They're also good for travel because this is a bit heavier. So all the other foundations that I like, like the MAC, the Derma Blend, the Hourglass. Love them all, but some days I will put them on and I don't feel they lo look good on a particular day. With this, doesn't matter when, how I put it on, I'm always happy. So I'm going to apply that. You always ask me about this brush. This is the Artist Oval 7, but I can't see them anywhere anymore. Um, I think you might be able still to get them um, in like a set, but I don't think they make them anymore. And I love this brush. I've got a couple of them. Uh, they, they were very expensive. I think they were like $65 a brush but you can get dupes of that on Amazon. Or maybe I do a tiny bit of that. I'm going a bit heavier because I'm going to an event, event, <laughs> and I'm not going to be in the daylight, so it doesn't matter if my makeup is a bit heavier. I will now press it in with a sponge. Push it really well with your sponge. For concealer, I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect in 130, a light beige. I haven't used that one for a very long time, but do you know, I just found a new one in my drawer. I obviously had a spare one and I do really like it. As usual, I push it in first with my finger, so the warmth of my finger will help it melt in. I might put a bit more on my eyelid. And then I will blend it in with a sponge. Now I'm going to set under my eyes with the Delilah Translucent 
powder, pure touch translucent powder. I'm taking powder and sculpt brush from Charlotte Tilbury. Make sure there are no creases. I, I use very minute amount and let's powder these lids and the eyebrows so the pencil goes on well and then for a bit more coverage and to even it all out and make it look nice and fabulous we are going to set the rest with the Lily Lolo mineral powder in cookie this is uh, Real Techniques brush uh, black um, powder brush I think number 300 uh, they used to do a set of those they are not available anymore in like drugstores but you can still get them sometimes on Amazon so this is going to add a bit of color as well it makes the makeup a bit heavier but like I said we are going to an event for my bronzer I'm going to use a Sigma matte bronzer in medium I have to be very careful I dropped it and it smashed I love this bronzer it is so smooth and um, this is Rifa brush 05 try to give myself some sort of cheekbones on my flat face shade the Mickey Mouse forehead uh, for my blush I'm going to use the NYX Sweet Cheeks Glow blush in Daydream I have one that is like almost used and I'm sure I brought it here but I can't find it so thankfully I have a new one so I'm going to use that and I'm going to use a Sigma F53N which is contour blush brush this blush was my favorite for years it's just beautiful it's sort of peachy pink and it has this gorgeous glow so there is no need for highlighter I don't really use highlighters but can you see that glow that it has it's just gorgeous now I'm going to go off and do my brows because this is probably the most difficult horrible job and I have to get very very close to my mirror because I can't see very well what I'm using currently for my eyebrows is the Delilah eyebrow pencil in Ash, I think. And of course, I use the Benefit 24 hour setting gel. Okay, brows are done. Now for the eyeshadow. So of course, I have loads of eyeshadow palettes, but these two is what I pull out when I don't want to think about it. Uh, something that is easy for me to do to choose my look and I know it will look good and is two of the Charlotte Tilbury's palette this one is Charlotte Darling and Pillow Talk Dreams so here is the Pillow Talk Dreams I don't need to use both of them but in this one I have a, a bit lighter transition color and in this one I like this dark brown and also um, this shimmer and then I can use lighter shimmer from here it's funny because someone asked me in comments the other day which one is my ultimate favorite palette and I said I don't really have one because I love eyeshadow and I love so many palettes but if I had to choose I probably choose these two because of that's what I go for every time like every day um, like I said if I don't want to think about my look 
I know exactly what I'm getting from it and it's foolproof to me. Rifa 01 and I'm going to start with this brown one and I will apply it on the outer portion of my eye in my crease and then blend it upwards and outwards. You've seen me doing looks with these palettes lots of times. Then with another Rifa 01, this one I've already used for the eyeshadow so I don't mind that it's dirty. Um, I am going to go to the Pillow Talk Dreams and use this one. And I will just shade the outer portion of my eye here with it. Now from Pillow Talk Dreams I'm taking this colour. And I already have a brush that I use for it. It's the Rifa Auto. And I'm applying it to my mobile lid almost to the corner. I'm going to use something different in the corner. And right in my corner from Charlotte Darling, I'm using this one. It's similar to that, but it's slightly lighter. So I am going to use that in my inner corner. To be honest, you don't need both of them. Choose one or the other. And they are very similar, to be honest. Now with Rifa 19, I am going to go to Pillow Talk Dreams into this color. And you see where you get that, most of us have it, that crease that goes from your nose. Just very lightly follow that. And shade it here. It sort of, can you see, gives you a bit more definition. Rifa 28 and I'm going to go to this darkest one in Pillow Talk Dreams and just darken the very outer corner. Blend it a bit inwards. Take Rifa 15 and now blend the edges. Make sure that's a clean brush. Mine probably wasn't. Rifa 03, I'm taking this dark eyeshadow again. And I'm going to apply it very close to my lash line, not right to the corner. I already have that um, shimmery one in the corner. And then from Charlotte Darling, I'm going to take that first brown that I used before on Rifa 26. And I'm going to blend this dark shadow out. I might darken it again a bit with that dark brown. And keep blending in between. And now mascara. My mascara combo is usually the same. Catrice Glam and Doll Sculpt and Volume Mascara topped off with Anastasia. Is it Lash Brag? Yes, Lash Brag Mascara. So that's the eye look done. Shall I put lashes on? 
as I'm going to this very important event. Um, I've got here Isla three quarter length lashes 008 because they come um, in different numbers. These are 008. Might as well go for it. These one ones come with their own glue, which is great. Push them up after you've put them on so they are up, not straight. And here are the lashes. Now uh, we will do lipstick at the end because I don't know what I'm going to wear for this event. But what about my hair? Hmm. Thank God I've got lots of wigs. And this is the finished look. So the wig I'm wearing is John Renault Julian Light in Palm Springs Blonde and I just pinned it up with the lips I could have gone for red lipstick but I thought it maybe would be a bit too much for this event as I'm wearing red maybe if I had a white top I would wear a red lipstick so I've just gone for NYX Los Angeles lip liner and Charlotte Tilbury's Kim KW lipstick and um, Wayne Goss gloss just in the middle in hibiscus and the outfit is from Zara. I bought this outfit, you might remember from one of my try on hauls four or five years ago. So this is the outfit, so I can't give you the link for it, but it's absolutely beautiful. So now let me show you the whole outfit. If you enjoyed this video, please give it thumbs up. I've had so much fun getting ready for my pretend event. <laughs> uh, that doesn't normally happen in real life where someone calls me out of the blue and gives me one hour to get ready. I would hate it anyway. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.